What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in MySQL. Now in order to understand what exactly MySQL is, we first need to take a look at what a database is. Now a database is pretty much a collection of data on a computer. Now it isn't just a whole bunch of data packed into a file or randomly jammed onto your computer. It's organized in a very specific fashion. It's actually made up of something called tables. Now each table is going to store similar information. Sounds pretty confusing? Well let's go ahead and take a look at a quick example. Say you were making the website YouTube. Now YouTube stores a bunch of information like usernames, passwords, um, links to videos, people's comments, favorites. They don't just want to store all of this information in random files. So what they decided to do is better organize this in tables. So instead of just taking all the information they need and throwing it randomly onto a file, they broke it up into a users table, videos table, and comments table. So as we can see, we can use tables to organize similar information. So now all of the users would go in this table, all of the videos in another table, all of the comments in a separate table, and now that you are separating specific in similar information it just helps you organize your databases better so now that isn't only the only way that we break up to organize data we actually break up these tables in a very specific way as well so let's go ahead and take a look at those so tables each individual table is made up of columns and rows now the columns are like categories and the rows are like each separate entry so if you're saying what the heck columns and rows kinda like a grid well yes it is kinda like a grid now if we took a look at a table here say I wanted to make a table to organize all of my friends so I would have each column with a specific category for example the first column would be name all of the items in this column would be the name I would have another column or category which would be age in this case now only ages go in here and my last category for this example is profession so again as you can see columns are kind of like categories now the rows are a little bit different because each individual entry goes on a separate row the first entry I have is Bucky who's 25 and his profession is a shepherd now on the second one like I said each row is like an individual entry so for Lisa's entry it would be name Lisa age 68 profession magician so as you can see once we have each column with a separate category and each row is a separate entry it could really help you identify and organize a bunch of data very specifically because then if you're saying okay how old is Ashley well you know to go in the age category and you know to scroll down to Ashley and where the two meet that's the answer you're looking for so instead of just scrolling through random data breaking databases up into tables and then furthermore into columns and rows could really help organize your data in a very productive manner so as we can see say we wanted to make a huge database that was going to store all of the people in the United States well whenever we we're making a database say we organize it like this we would say okay database look for a person named Bucky and it would say okay um I didn't find one there are actually six thousand people in the United States named Bucky so we say okay um what about a person named Ashley who is unemployed and it says okay and think about this for a second how many people named Ashley are unemployed in the United States right now probably 5,000 I'm guessing well this isn't a really effective way to make a table because you can have a lot of duplicate entries even you can even have an Ashley that's 21 and unemployed there are probably a couple hundred of those so instead of just making a table like this what you need to use is a primary key now remember this whenever you make a table in a database you need to have a primary key and that is a column that's guaranteed to be 100 percent unique so basically no entries or no rows can have the same primary key so let's go ahead and take a look at this table with primary keys
So whenever you're making a website, aside from letting the user have a username, which may be the primary key, it's always good to assign them an ID number or our primary keys in America are our social security number. No one else has our same social security number. So basically whenever I'm saying, okay, find all the buckies well it may return 600 but if we say okay return the person with a primary key of one it's only gonna return one result and you can say to your database okay um, find all the Ashley's who are 21 and unemployed well they that may give you 500 results but we only are looking for this Ashley so instead we would say okay find the member or find the person with the ID of three and that is why you use a primary key because it's guaranteed to only return one result so say this Ashley right here died and we needed to remove her for a database from the database instead of saying okay remove Ashley from the database which may remove 500 people we just say okay remove the person with the ID of three and bam we're good to go we didn't screw up our database so now before I let you guys go I'm a I want to cover one more thing. What is SQL? Because these tutorials are going to cover MySQL. SQL is the language that databases use. Now we just can't say, you know, shout into our computer, hey database, um, delete Ashley. It doesn't understand English. It needs to use a special language and we'll look at that in a couple minutes. That's called SQL. Now what my SQL is, is basically a program that understands SQL. Now whenever we learn this SQL, we just can't open Notepad or Microsoft Office and start typing this in. It's not going to know what the heck this crap is. So instead, my SQL is the program that understands SQL. And also, there is other software aside from MySQL that can understand this language, but MySQL is the best. It's free, it's fast, and did I mention it's free? Oh yeah, it is. So anyways, there you go. There is your quick background on databases, tables, and SQL. So yes, um, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be making a bunch of tutorials, so don't forget to check out the next tutorial. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.